probably about half the call. So about half the call will be uh, just giving a little bit more information. Then we're going to do a very fun activity all together where we're going to do a, a five-minute flash lab and create something together. And then we're going to get to break into work teams um, and talk to each other. So thanks, Pedro. Or Alan, if Pedro is busy bringing people in. Um, Are you doing yeah, that? I'm sorry, guys. Alan, please. Uh, yeah, well, is Pedro going to open with a word? I hope I got the wrong run plan. That's right. You just keep moving on. Let's pray, and then we'll um, we'll get we'll move into the process. So. All right. Let me pray for us then. Father God, we thank you for all that you are doing. Thank you for all that is represented in the ministries and the teams that are here on this call, and those that are joining, and those that are signed up to be part of this flash lab process. And Lord, we long to see children and families encountering you and walking with you. And so, Lord, will you work in us and through us? Would you enable us to connect with one another and with you and with the process as we start to explore the needs and the opportunities before us? So we commit this time and this call to you, and we pray that this will be the start of something that leads to great lasting fruit that will bless your name and grow your kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So shall I give you a little bit of a summary of the process so far? Just a quick kind of bit of context. Sai, maybe if you've got the uh, the slides yeah. there, we can take a little look at the stages. So welcome, everybody. It's great to have you be part of this Flash Lab call. Um, we're really excited about these next few weeks. So you are are uh, stepping into what I hope will be an exciting and a fruitful space with brothers and sisters across the world. And you are very, very welcome. Um, so we're embarking on a process that will last for a number of weeks, six weeks or so through to the middle of October. And what you can see here is just a little snapshot of the different stages that are involved in this flash lab. So we we see lots of needs before us and in the ministries where we serve and the things that we represent. We rarely have uh, enough and we we often hit, hit barriers and challenges. But you know, together we can start to unlock things and, and to, to be blessed through the skills and the experience and the creativity of uh, the body of Christ. And so that's, the exciting thing for me of this flash lab is that it allows us glimpses of the body of Christ at work and together, hopefully we can be better equipped and then be a means to bless and serve and support many others. And, you know, none of this needs to be contained within these Zoom calls. So there'll be lots of things that happen over the next few weeks. We'll be in lots of groups and conversations and it's an open process for others to connect in and to be part of as well. You may well know somebody with a particular gift or skill or area of expertise who can come and be part of this over the next few weeks. So let's be prayerful together to see who might God connect into, be part of this creative, innovative process together. Um, so these, these stages that you can see, these five stages, give us a little bit of a roadmap of what these six weeks will look like. We're in this first stage at the moment, the look and listen stage. And really that's what this call is largely going to be about, is helping to get us into that, that process of thinking, to be looking around us, to listen to the needs that are there, to be asking God what it would be helpful to, to address, to create. What are the things that your people need? What is the problem that you're wanting to fix or the opportunities that are before you? So that's really where we're starting. And we'll open that out more on this call. Um, the next step is about how we think and explore. How do we take that forward? And then we'll be brainstorming lots of ideas. It'll be a really dynamic part of the process. Uh, but we'll walk you through each of these stages as we progress. And you can see with the roadmap here, there's a, a kind of a, a natural flow to it. Um, we'll have plenty of time, plenty of opportunity. And we're just here in this first week. So then the third step, we'll get on to that in uh, a few days time that's where we're really getting into 
what we can actually work on together. We'll be creating stuff. We'll be editing stuff. We'll hopefully get some first drafts. We'll be on design stages. Um, it's a really creative stage. So we're looking forward to that, but it has several steps to it. So we'll, we'll, we'll look at things, we'll rework them. It kind of then takes us into step four, where we're more intentional in testing it, hopefully in real settings as well, and connecting with others who can work with and test the ideas and the resources that are coming through in their context. And then we'll get feedback in that stage four, we'll refine things further, hopefully finish then those initial resources and start to be able to share it. Um, and number five just continues on. So the sharing and multiplying, we really hope will um, will have a long, long tail and a, a, a long lasting fruitfulness with it. Um, the other thing just to say that with all of these steps, all of these stages and all that we'll be discovering and enjoying together, please do take all of the tools and all of the um, the things that you learn and, and use them elsewhere. So you may have other teams that you're working with that you can connect in and invite to be part of this. So let's see not just what we can work on together over these next few weeks, but who can we equip and how can you take the Flash Lab ideas and tools to work in your context and be a blessing to others? So that's what's coming up. We're going to be looking more now at the look and listen. That's step one. And really, that's the shape of the call for us today. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this uh, amazing meeting. So I have a challenge for you guys. So now I, I will going to say write a number in a chat box. Uh, you need to be ready. I think we lost her. Oh, no. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> too, too She's active. so busy doing the workout <laughs> that we lost her. <laughs> that means no one gets to do the workout. She's going to be sweaty and exhausted, but... Um... <laughs> Well, we, we might do it when she comes back. Uh, so keep an eye out for Diana, and we'll um, we, we'll uh, we'll give that that fun exercise that she was going to do. We want to introduce to you, um, as Alan mentioned. I just bring up a slide here. Oops, where are we? Diana is coming now again. Okay, great. So that's five okay, a.m. in the morning Diana. for yeah. Diana. <laughs> I'm here. This is part of the challenge. <laughs> so you need to be ready to look or listen. Okay. So each number, I want to say a number, and each norm, each number has an action. And you need to do this action with me. Okay. So the first, uh, the number one is running on the spot. So when I say one, or you can see in the chat box, one, you need to running on the spot. Okay. Follow me, guys. I can see you. You don't move. Here we got to stand up. Come on, let's all stand up. Stand up. So number two is uh um yeah, it's flight like a butterfly. Okay, so we can fly on the spot. Okay, this is number two. Number three is elephant trunk. Come on. And number four is uh jump like a kangaroo okay like jump okay if i say one running on the spot if i say two you can fly i if i say three four two uh -huh. one three um, four. Um, four. Okay. <laughs> one. One. What is one? Oh, one. Two. Two. Three. One. I changed the number. Oh, it's there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you are ready, guys. <laughs> Congratulations. 
<laughs> okay, well thanks, Diana. That was great. So it's it's um yeah to wake us up uh, because it's very early for you to keep me awake because it's very late here in Australia, um, but also to look and to listen to instructions and uh, what we want to think about in this look and listen phase. Let me just share my screen. Uh, now, I hope you've got the Flash Lab manual, which I've printed here, but you can just read it on your phone. We are going to go through just the first stage, this the look and listen stage of the Flash Lab. Um, and in that look and listen phase, the, um, the there's just two pages of things that helps us to prepare for the projects that we're going to do. And um, what I want to walk you through is uh, that we've done the Google survey so far, and there's about 204 people that have responded. Uh, there's about 28 countries. Uh, out of those 200, they, we speak 48 different languages. You'd be interested to know. And then there's a whole lot of ideas that people have shared. And I'll, I'll just give you a few examples on this call. But We've come to this flash lab and really there's four initial questions that might just be at the back of your mind. And that's what I'm going to talk through. And then Jane is going to think through how do we ask good questions to sharpen what it is that we're trying to make together. So it's, it's a preparation phase. So the first thing is that is there something that you want to make that you've actually got in the back of your mind? And out of those 204 responses, 75% said, no, I don't know what I want to make. But 25% of them, 50 people or so, said, yeah, I've got something. And here's a few examples of things that people said, I want to make. There's some fabulous ones there. Um, there are five-minute all-age interactive talks, a laboratory of creative prayer, parables and experiential learning, um, a coaching training program in esports. Uh, families on mission, uh, play ideas, uh, all sorts of things. So these are some of the examples that people have come to the Flash Lab with that they want to make. And over the, the next three, four days, we want to start getting some of these teams started. Um, and that's going to be a complicated process, but that's what we'll talk through a little bit. The second thing is some people have asked the question, is there a problem that needs to be solved. And here's a couple of examples that people said. They want to do a project where they turn plastic waste into usable units. I don't even know what that means. Um, they want to uh, educate teenagers on health and things like that. So that's a problem. And there might be uh, spiritual problems you're trying to solve. There might be um, other things. Brett shared a fantastic story about esports and and gaming and something that that is very close to my heart as my nine-year-old son is playing Minecraft outside. Um, so really exciting, a problem. And that might not be a problem that we want to solve, but an opportunity that we have. Uh, a third thing, is there a need that you want to address? And these were some of the answers on the Google form. Um, ideas for children with uh, or neurodiversity, some, some great ideas for that. Um, some written areas of declarations in scripture, children's in, uh, entrepreneurship. So th these are some needs that people can see that we need to deal with. Um, the fourth one is, is there an opportunity that you want to jump onto? So there's a group tonight that will start on the Lausanne Congress preparation. That's an opportunity that's coming up next year. Um, hopefully there'll be another group looking at the uh, Paris Olympics and some ideas around that. There are uh, this Android app somebody suggested. So it's, it's an opportunity to use something that's out there. And there's lots of different opportunities. So they're the first sort of four questions that we need to ask as we think about this Flash Lab. Um, it's still okay if you don't know why you're here and you're you're willing to help in a group. Uh, but I just wanted you to see that we we have four different areas that we can look at. Now, Jane's going to take us through uh, a little bit of what some of the background thinking we might have. And then um, we later in the call, we're going to break into breakout rooms around different themes. And that allows us to ask some of these questions and have some of the discussions. Thanks, Jane. Thanks, Simon. So I'm starting at... Um 
at page 17 of the booklet, um, which is, I've printed mine out. So it says 1.2, ask questions. And this is something that we need to do during the looking and listening phase, because this look and listen phase really is about paying attention. And we need to think about some questions. We need to work out some real detail to those answers. And we'll be doing that during this week. And we'll be practicing that in this, in this meeting. And then we wanna take time to pray and consider what we've discovered, what we've identified together, but also what we've heard other people say. It's important to process um, and hear from everyone. So we wanna consider some of those questions. And these are the questions that are in our Flash Lab booklet. We wanna ask questions like, who are the people we wanna serve? Who are they? What age are they? Are we talking about males or females? We're we talking about particular groupings of people, sports people, school children, families, all ages, neuro, neurodiverse kids. Who are they? That's the groupings. And where are they? So you might want to think about the particular places that or um, contexts that you've identified your target audience to be in. What are their needs? Now, Simon's listed some needs already that people have identified, and this is digging down on a specific audience and figuring out what their needs are. We wanna know how can we help them? Now, that's a really, really big question. What are their needs? There are so many, but it's a smaller, it's a smaller group of actually how we can help and where we wanna direct that help to be most productive and most effective. So we think about, what, how can we help them? And then we ask ourselves and each other, what do they need to know about God? What is God's message to them? And all these things we're looking for, plenty of answers, lots and lots of answers. So for example, here's some detailed answers that I was imagining, and this is an imagined project. So for me, I identified the people as a family who's never attended church, who have school-aged children. They live in a town or a village with less than 3,000 people. They're worried about how their children are growing up and would like them to have good values. What do they need to know? They need to know that God cares about them and their children and has a good plan for their lives. And you want to list all the passages, all the scripture passages that you know would and you've realized could be helpful. So that's an example of giving some detailed answers. And you may not have all the answers to start with, but as you work together and talk together, you'll decide what those details are. So once you've looked at the people you wanna serve, what kind of resources and what kind of context would be most effective to serve? Um, how do we serve people really effectively? And that's gonna affect the kind of resources we make. So think about the questions, what kind of resources would best serve? Do they need something new or do they need something added to a resource they already have? What different kinds of resources are needed? What kind of resources could they be? So think big, think big about the possibilities and who would passionately deliver these ideas and programs. Be curious about who's in the community, who will, um, who will help and who will join in and who will use these resources. And what types of resources are most useful in this context? And in my example, it's a village. So we have to be practical. What's practical for there? And what gap will this resource fill? Let's not invent something that we've already got. Let's be creative and fill a gap in a way that hasn't been thought of before. And we're a big group and we're a creative group. So we can take that challenge on. So when we've had a previous Flash Lab to look at kids' games, there was a goal to create maybe four resources. So we had four we specifically knew that we needed to make. But because we had a look and listen session and because we spent time reflecting on what the needs were for kids' games and for Go Play in that time, we ended up with many more resources because that came out of look and listen. And you can see there that there's far more than four resources. It came out as videos and calendars, as um, activity and exercise cubes, as um, family activities, but also a lot of artwork and support materials that really helped 
to bring um, new life and new energy to the kids games program. So that's just an example of how look and listen can just really explode ideas out. So the final thing that we want to do in a look and listen is to be prayerful and discerning. It's a spiritual exercise in discernment to look and to listen and to pay attention. So I really want to encourage you with this last step that as all the ideas are gathered together, all the answers are gathered together, that you don't judge or decide just yet. Let's seek God about this. Let's ask God, what is your will? Let's ask God, have we missed anything? Let's ask God, what is your heart for this? And let's ask God, how do you want us to serve? And as we wait, as we wait on the Lord, as we pray and discern and reflect, um, that's when the real fruit of looking and listening will help us to go to stage two. Back to you, team. Thanks, Jane. Uh, so let's pray uh, about this process as we look and listen. Obviously, that's a very short version of what we need to do together. Um, so, Pedro, would you pray for us as we um, as we do this look and listen, and then we're going to launch a very a mini flash lab of five minutes in a moment. So thanks, Pedro. Thank you, Lord, that you, you are so good to us. Thank you that you give us the opportunity to serve you and to serve with a bigger team all over the world. Thank you for these friends. Thank you for Jane and Simon, the way that you... Through them, you touched our hearts for sure. And we want to do something. We want to be involved in a, in a project. We want to serve you in a better way and help us to understand how to look and to listen, how to understand what is priority and important, what are the gaps, and how can we achieve them during these days and bring more people to the process and help us to interact and to work as a team together also. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. Now, Sharice has been heading up, as she, as she mentioned on the previous call, this amazing new movement called Generous or Gen G, which is about generosity with children. And um, Sharice is going to help me here. We're going to do a five minute flash lab, aren't we, Sharice? Absolutely, we are. Can't wait. Yeah. So what, let's not do a six week one. We're going to do a five minute one. So what this is, this will show you the power of a flash lab that we can create together, all of us, um, all at the same time, the, the beginnings of a resource that will really help uh, to model, to foster, to share generosity amongst children worldwide. We're going to do it right now on the call in five minutes, and then mm -hmm. we're going to set up two different groups. One will be a WhatsApp group, and one will be a Telegram group for this project and each week there'll be a project that anybody can jump on um this week it's generous children next week it'll be a different theme and the whatsapp and telegram groups will be open for people to share to upload uh, to add videos to do whatever they want so it's crowdsourcing creativity so that as you remember on the previous call is the everyone project and then we've got a lot of work teams that are working on specific projects so, Sharice, tell us uh, just very quickly, uh, if we're going to have a story about uh, generous children, what are we looking for? Well, thank you, Sai. So if you think of generosity and children being, being generous, think for a moment. I'll give you an example. A young girl, 10 years old, maybe seven, she's baking cupcakes and she's selling those cupcakes and the money she uses to support a, um, an orphanage, a place where people are um, in, in grave need. So that's one example. And when we have these stories, there's just so much that we can do with all of these different stories. We can take the stories and make a highlight video of them. We can create different resources. And as we all know, children are actually very generous. Contrary to that uh, early start where they say, this is mine and I want to keep it, you know, all of you have heard that phrase, mine. And we want to encourage children to be generous. But why do we want to do that? Because generosity is not about money. Generosity 
is about showing the love of God to a hurting world. Um, so, yeah, so Simon, um, as you're saying, the Generous Children Project, think of a story, anything that you can think of that you have seen where one child has been generous to another. Um, think about that for a moment and um, and then we'll launch into the next step. So what are we going to do? You, are we going to have them write it into the chat box now, Sai? Yes. So we, we're just going to go silent now uh, for the next three minutes. And you can think, just think of one story that you can remember of a child being generous and then write it in the chat box, if you can think of one. After the call on both the WhatsApp group and the Telegram group, there will be a link to the Generous Children's Stories Project uh, working team, where you can then, if you'd like to, you can uh, send another story or upload an audio file, um, send a message at a video, at a photograph, um, and we'll open it to everybody in the Flash Lab. So the, there's the group here tonight, uh, today, and there'll be hundreds of others that will receive this either as they watch this video or as they read it on the groups so that you can contribute. But tonight on the Zoom call today, then just add it to the chat box and then we'll gather those up and start to create a resource using your ideas. Ready, set, go. Just so, please put the country, if that's okay, as well, just so we know where it comes from. And friends, just a reminder that generosity, as you know, won't be all about, it's just not, it's not just about money. It can be kindness. It can be uh, showing generosity in sharing time, sharing talent. So just a reminder of that. All right, just another 30 seconds and then don't forget we will have the group then that starts so you can you can add to it. Um, 
But at the heart of a flash lab, it's it's really about many people contributing little bits. And, and so in a very short space of time, we can gather some pretty amazing things. Um, in this case, some really fascinating and wonderful stories uh, that we can share. So thank you, everybody. So keep sharing that. Um, Alan, do you want to tell us what we're going to do next? Because this, this is the exciting part where we get to talk to each other. Yeah, so we've we've begun, and that was a great way of starting to explore a little flash lab experience uh, all together. We'll be now starting to focus our creativity and and time together in a little bit more of kind of smaller groups where we can chat and get to know each other. So the next step on this call will take us into some breakout rooms where we'll we'll take that look and listen stage a step further together. So we've got some specific groups that you can opt into, um, or if you're not sure at this point, then there'll, there'll be some others to kind of have a conversation to explore further. But we'll take a look at the, the Gen G generosity group a little further. Um, a number of us have been exploring families on mission. And so if that's something that you want to explore further, then come into that breakout room. We've got a go play team. Uh, we've got the uh, gaming, go gaming team, and then uh, Jane's going to be helping think through those that are just more generally involved in children's ministry to explore that. I see that Pearl's on the call, so I'm hoping that we can have uh, a first conversation around the, the needs for the Lausanne movement and the children's issue groups for them. Um, so we're going to go into these breakout groups and really there's three very simple things. We're going to get to know each other a little bit. So there's a chance to share uh, and, and see who else is, is engaged in that conversation and from where. Then maybe share a little bit about what we know from that context, some of the vision that has called us together or excited us around that conversation. And then maybe start to explore some of the needs and opportunities um, and so if you had a look at the Flash Lab manual, manual, there's some questions there for us around, is there something you want to make? Is there a problem that you're trying to solve? Is there a need that you want to address? Or is there an opportunity that you can take together? So we'll get to know each other. We'll share a bit of context and vision. We'll share a bit of the needs and the opportunities before us. And then maybe if you're starting to get some movement on that, uh, do share some contact information with one another in that group to continue that conversation further. And then we'll come back together uh, as a big group before we wrap up today's call, just to hear a little bit back from those groups. So hopefully that's clear. Uh, we'll get out into those breakout groups. Pedro, I think, will lead us through how to choose them and we'll get to know each other and share a bit more in there. Thanks, Alex. You, Thanks, Pedro. Oh, thank you, thank you. All of you, you can choose your breakout room. So if you know how to do that, uh, simply go to the breakout room that's like in, in your screen and you can choose uh, what breakout room you are part and go uh, directly there. If, if you can't do that, stay here in the room and I will help you to get to the breakout room that you want to be. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. We were abruptly kicked out of our group. We were told we had to leave. Okay, Brett. Yeah, that's Adnan. Do you know Adnan is really, uh, when we say let's finish, he finished. He's from Pakistan and he is really accurate with the hours and the schedules. <laughs> it's not like us, Portuguese, that we are completely, the Europeans are different. No. Do you, know you, have given us, you have given us less time, you know, you wanted to talk more, but the time ran out. <laughs> hey, friends, we are getting to the end of the call, but just some, some uh, imp important information. First of all, to the facilitators of each group, can I ask all of them to record or a 60 second videos or simply to send a summary uh, uh, by topics on the WhatsApp and Telegram group? So I will quote your names if you listen to me. So Alan uh, or Libby or Diana, one of you, uh, Cherise, Adnan uh, and Pearl, can you do that? And Jane, can you simply send or either a 60 seconds videos, video or uh, some topics by in the group of WhatsApp and Telegram, simply to say, uh, how was your group, any update? And anything that you discussed, probably you just know the names, which is okay. But simply uh, feedback everyone what happened with the groups. That's one of the things that we are asking 
The other thing is if you didn't uh, fill the Google form, you still have time to do that. Please fill the Google form and uh, and on the next few days, we'll send by email all the team information that you need to know. So if you fill the Google form, we'll capture your emails and we will send by email all the information that you need to know for the, in the next few days. So that's the two announcements that I need to do. First of all is for the facilitators of these groups, don't forget to send the updates. And second is for everyone. Fill the Google form if you didn't do that and you will get by email all the information that you need. Thank you for being in the call. That was great. Alan, can you end the call with a prayer, a word of prayer, please? With pleasure. So, so good to be with you all. But we rely on God to uh, to lead and direct us. He is the source of all creativity. So let's bring our conversations and our next steps back to him in prayer. Father, we thank you for this little glimpse today of the amazing global body of Christ that you have invited us to belong to and to participate in. So Lord, we thank you for one another and we thank you for how you are at work across your world, through your body. And Lord, as we look to the needs that are before us and with the things that we carry in our hearts that we long to see changed, will you guide us and help us as we connect around these themes and these opportunities Lord, by your spirit, will you equip us? Will you bring creative ideas? Will you enable us together to uh, to step forward and see things that become possible that if we just carried on would never have happened? So thank you for what you are bringing into being. Thank you for, for one another. And will you guide our steps onwards from here for your kingdom's sake? Amen. Amen. Um, you can and I ask the facilitators by... just to hang back for five minutes if that's okay. Thank you, everybody. And Bye. friends, bye, bye bye. See you next week. You, See you next week. In Thank information you, will come via email. So thanks everyone for sending me your emails. <laughs> Thank you. So, Jane, do you want me to, to send my email to you or do you already have? <laughs> I think I have yours.